In today's news, will a tunable streetlight breakthrough silence LED critics? Smart streetlights tell cities when to salt frozen roads. And LED protest signs take center stage at demonstrations. Lux Today starts right now. What is thought to be the first successful deployment of white tunable connected street lighting has taken place in St. Paul, Minnesota. The system is able to regulate the amount of potentially unhealthy blue light that's emitted from street lighting. Late last year, the American Medical Association sent shock waves through the industry by announcing that the blue light emitted from LED street lighting could prompt health problems. The respected healthcare body also warned that the glare produced by LEDs may make roads more dangerous for drivers. In response to the AMA report, a number of major North American cities, including Montreal and New York, dropped plans to install 4,000 Kelvin streetlights in favor of more moderate models. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom, streetlights are being used to keep drivers safe in winter. New smart fixtures that tell local authorities when to salt frozen roads have been unveiled in the UK county of Hampshire. The streetlights are fitted with a smart control central management system, which is able to monitor weather and road surface temperatures. Local authorities usually take the decision to send out gridding wagons based on weather forecasts provided by the BBC. However, the forecasts can be inaccurate and are often based upon large areas, rendering them unreliable when attempting to predict localized temperature levels. The new streetlights are able to predict road surface temperatures and weather measured specifically for gridding routes, producing crucial information to assist those working on the ground. The new innovation will allow city authorities to adjust the hue of street lighting based upon the time of day, weather conditions, and traffic events. LED is often praised for the positive effect that it has on the environment via energy savings, but its effectiveness as a tool for social activism is often ignored. One common sight in pictures of recent protests around the world has been people carrying placards that feature messages spelled out with LEDs. The signs were originally created by the Overpass Light Brigade, which was formed in the U.S. state of Wisconsin during the attempt to remove the controversial governor, Scott Walker, from office. The placards, which are made using battery-operated LED light strings, were used to spell out messages from overpasses, over busy freeways, and in public spaces. The LED signs have since been seen appearing at some of the rallies that have taken place in world capitals following the inauguration of President Trump last month. That wraps things up. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally 24 hours a day at LuxReview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson with Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.